good? Mm -hmm. All right, so for this experiment, this is actually a muscle twitch experiment. It's a classic setup. You have a frog gastrocnemius muscle sitting on a stimulator, and it's anchored at one end by a little rubber band there, tethered to this force transducer. And the force transducer is going to tell you how much force occurs when this muscle contracts. Now, the muscle isn't really allowed to contract fully, um, but it does generate tension. So this is an example of an isometric thing. We have a stimulator cables over here, and we have um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna change the uh, the nature of the stimulation such that we change the the strength of the twitch. What we do is just make sure that uh, the uh, the force transducer is working. So we're gonna zero it, and you probably won't have to do this. We'll probably do that for you. And then you can kind of give it a little bloop just to see if it's working. Are you okay? And now uh, you're gonna have your stimulator panel open. We're gonna start with just doing a frequency of one hertz, and then we're gonna stimulate with 300 millivolts. So let's see what happens. You can see a nice little peak there. So stimulus is recorded down here. This is the the uh, millivolts, uh, which roughly translate into newtons uh, by the force transducer. Okay, so now we're going to do steps up. So let's see what happens if we increase by 50 millivolts. So we have this. Here it was a little like, you know, 1.2. The second one, a little bit higher, 1.5. So you can see. That as you increase the stimulus, you increase the uh, twitch strength. And we went uh, up a step here, uh, pretty close to the same. Let's go up to 500 and see what happens. See if you're about the same. So here we were at one point. Two, four, six, one point six. So 1.6, about the maximum contraction we can get from a single twitch from this muscle. Okay, but you went up from lower voltage, and you can measure this. We can kind of measure this with the with the uh, M and the cursor as we've shown before. But uh, the point is, is you can kind of see how you increase twitch strength by increasing the magnitude of the stimulus to it, and that only goes up to a point, and that gives you the maximum amount of force you can do with a single twitch. Now let's go back down to, say, 400, and we increase the frequency, say, to 2.5. can see peaks roughly about the same size. Let's go up to five. Now here you can see that the muscle doesn't have time to come back to rest. And we should probably give it a little bit of time to recover and make sure we're moistening it. And notice we're still about the 1.6 uh, maximum for this. Let's go up to 10 hertz and see what happens. And you can see that uh, the muscle never comes back down to rest. So that here you're getting to what is more or less, you can see individual waveforms. So this is summation. You can start seeing that in the last level here. It never comes back to rest. So this is summation summation here, and that was at 10. Let's go up to 20 and see what happens. Notice that the force gets up a little bit higher than the 1.6 that we've been seeing. And notice what happens when you when you really jack up the stimulus. So in order to see this, we got to kind of go down. So now we're up above 2. 
2.2 and you can see how they're almost completely fused the, the individual twitches are almost completely fused together and now let's just go to 50 and here you go up to almost 2.6 millivolts this is a completely fused tetanus right you don't see any indication of individual tw twitches and uh, this is the maximum tension that that muscle can can uh, generate now watch what happens if we uh, let that go for a while see how the tension drops off that's called muscle fatigue and we will talk a little bit about muscle fatigue in class that's it.